888 You're listening to AFR Talk. Well, we've got some good news. Uh, first of all, the, the uh, Dow just went soaring up. It's up 140 points right now. All the major indices up on some good news that just came out a few minutes ago. And that would be consumer confidence is at the high that it's been since, you ready? February 2008. February 2008 was the month before Bear Stearns got bailed out. They don't, people don't say they got bailed out, but they got bailed out. Bear Stearns got bailed out. And um, obviously, some months before Lehman Brothers and the crisis really got underway. So consumer confidence up to 72.2. 72.2. Now, why is that? I have no idea. And uh, I'm not sure. But this has been going on for a while. We've seen consumer confidence has been coming up. And I think a lot of it thinks, uh, you know, I think a lot of people... So you've got those in the Romney camp that are certain that Romney's going to win. And that brings a level of consumer confidence. It's going to. There's no doubt about it. It's going to bring a huge level of business confidence. All of that, there's an enthusiasm about that because it's getting out the old and bringing in the new that actually has a plan and would appear as though we're going to get something done in the economy. So that is certainly got to be a part of what's driving that consumer confidence number. Uh, it, it, it's huge. Now, you know, the, it, it isn't, it can't be for, now maybe it's the headline numbers. Maybe the headline numbers are, are driving it too a little bit, and that's certainly possible. So that is some good news. Some other really good news, um, and I'm, I'm looking for, I, I, I don't know what happened to it. But um, anyway, I'll go from memory of reading it just a few minutes ago. Anyway, uh, manufacturing around the country. So the manufacturing, the ISM number came out again uh, just a few minutes ago. And the ISM number came out and it actually uh, beat expectations. So the ISM number uh, inches up to 517 in October from 51.5. So an increase in the manufacturing index. That's very good news because that means that manufacturing now continues. This is a a, a national number, not different areas of the country. We have seen certain areas of the country still be in contraction, are still in contraction mode. But overall, the ISM inches up, that is good news. That means that manufacturing, according to this number, would be expanding as opposed to contracting. When they are expanding, so it's up to tenths of 1%, means that they're expanding. You're, it's difficult for manufacturing to expand too much without first adding hours per work or per week work. So that starts to inch up. We're hovering around still forever. This 34 hour, you know, you know, what we're looking for is that getting close to 40 hours a week. Then we start to watch overtime hours. And what we're hoping for then once it gets up to 40 is that we start seeing some overtime hours worked uh, per week. Once we see a consistency in overtime hours worked, we will see not could we will see hiring. We will see hiring. And that's the kind of expansion that we're looking for. So we're moving. We're, we're a long way away from that. We're moving in that direction again. So that's good news. And I, I believe that good news. I think that is legitimate good news. So 